As another snowstorm begins to move into the heart of the Midwest, most locals take to their homes with blankets and warm fireplaces. A dedicated few arm themselves with shovels and snowblowers to clear their properties. Even fewer make their living out there in the cold, out in the snow. They are the snowmen. All right, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. I was backing up, I got a little bit off course, that angled tree. Yeah, you guessed it. A brand new tailgate, got it. Crushed this freaking thing into my quarter panel. Had to beat the snot out of it just to get my tailgate to come down. Anyway, already feeling like crap. And now I'm even more disgusted with myself. But, most people would call it collateral damage. I'm just gonna take it straight up. I wasn't looking on my left side. So this house, they did themselves this morning. We're set to come. This is one of the pet peeves of Plow Guys. When we have people set up on our schedule, you know, on our route, she's set for four inches or more. Well, then we get there, you know, we drive all the way out to their house and it's already done. Then, uh, you know, it's kind of a waste, waste of a trip. Luckily, we have another house on the street, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, I says, you know, you're set at four inches. She says, oh yeah, there was only about three and a half inches out there. So I just did it myself. But it wasn't done well anyway. I mean, it's, it's just not even wide enough for the garage door, so.
Justin's doing right now. So uh, we've been going all day plowing, and uh, right now we're gonna take a little break and meet up with Tori and get something to eat, and then uh, we'll be hitting the road again, getting right back to it. We got about 10 hours. When the snow comes down, the boss backs you up. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Let's make like a tree and split. A leaf. We're gonna make like a tree and leaf. Okay, so tonight is gonna be Tim's first time plowing snow, driving the plow truck. Um, we got a huge open lot. We're just gonna let him go at it, kind of show him the ropes, and uh, well, we'll see how it goes. It's it's nice to give it a try, especially doing something I know Matt would never do. Brian actually gave Matt the opportunity to do it, uh, and Matt said, "No, no, I don't, I don't want to do that." I'm like, well, why not? You can't handle that, so. Yeah, Matt just, uh, I heard Matt like went home then and uh, cried himself to sleep, but it, I'm a bit weary because, you know, compared to what I've driven, you know, with a plow on the front and everything, it's a, it's a, I know it's a little bit of a monster to handle, so. First thing first, just get used to the, you know, work the control, get used to the, the to raise, you probably don't want a glove on because, so to raise it, you, you put the trigger, you see the side button right here? That goes up, that goes down. So to V it forward, you push the control forward. So it's scoop it, okay? And then to V it back, you pull it all the way back. And like if you want it as a straight blade, so like when you start making passes here yeah. to push off to one side, you just push it all the way to the right, like push all the way to the right. And there you go, when it stops, it's straight, and, you know, so that's straight now, it's a straight blade. And then it'll hold straight blade. When, if you keep going side to side, it's holding that straight position. And then, you know, as far as the truck goes, I mean, it's just, uh, actually take the blade all the way up take it up and then hit drive 
and just drive the truck in the trail all the way to the end just to kind of get the feel for her because it's going to handle a lot differently than your car does. And then if you want, just back all the way up. You don't have to hit the top, the total top edge. Um, just back up close to the street, but you don't have to go out into it. So what you're gonna wanna do though, is your blade, make sure it's fanned off. You're gonna wanna push all this stuff in the lot out to the right, okay? So off to the right. So, yeah, so put it all the way. You can actually, yeah, like that. And then just drop it. And then you're gonna have to put it in drive. You're still in, there you go. And then just drive it. Um, it's good to go slower, it's better. Now, as you're getting to the end, you take the, watch the blade move and keep driving forward. You see how I straighten out the blade and then I go V and lift. So to pile, okay, that's good. So you know what I mean? When you're, you're angled and then you want to start straightening it out and going forward to pile it up. Yeah. So that's right at the end. It's all one fluid motion though, basically. lifted too early but here's the thing okay right now it's V back you want to scoop you know what I'm saying so you want to take it back off the pile just a little bit I mean come back like okay so the motion normally that I do okay so like you're you're going you're okay it's all the way down and angled right so once I start getting towards the end, I do this. So it starts going forward. Then right as I'm getting really close to the end, you start lifting to push up. You know what I'm saying? So you're scooping it in and pushing up so you can get the pile higher. And that's the beauty of the V versus the straight blades. Is with the straight blade, once you come to the end, you start lifting up to stack it, but you can't stack it as high. Scooping and then you lift. There you go. I don't think I. Well, you probably lifted too early again. If anything, just hold the. Scoop it, but wait to lift until like you're starting to make contact with the back pot. Right. No, I understand. Remember, I was saying that before. You gotta. Just think about the sequence of what you're doing. Yeah, so you can V, scoop it, and once you hit the pile, now go up. There you go. There you go, see? You just gotta hit the up trigger a little bit later than you were doing it. That's the only thing. Yeah, whatever works. 
And that's the thing you'll find too, if you do start plowing, is uh, you're gonna have little things that, little techniques that work for you, whereas like I might not do them, you know? Yeah. But it's gonna be, that's the way that you can do it the safest or, you know what I'm saying? So you pick up little things over the way. Some things you pick up from other guys and you're like, oh, I like that, that's a great idea. Other things they do, you're like, ooh, that's not, that doesn't work for me. I'm better than you, man. Driving the plow truck, it was a bit hard at first because getting the, the control down in that and the joystick and knowing what to do, uh, but it didn't take too long and I kind of I got comfortable pretty quickly. The most difficult part to me was when you're when you're going to lift the snow up at the end. Uh, it, that kind of getting my head around that is what took me a little more, but um, everything else kind of fell into place and it it felt more comfortable more quicker than I thought. Uh, I think he did real well. It, uh, you know, it's not rocket science, but um, over time, overdoing it and, and, and practicing, it, it just becomes, you become one with the uh, plow. So, you know, if he does it a little bit more, he'll, I'm sure, do just fine. The V, you can really stack it high. Back here, this pile is just stacked. It's higher than the top of my truck. Oh, I'll tell you the <laughs> with, uh, with a straight blade, there's no way you're getting those piles. With the V, and especially the XT, it's got, it, uh, the edges are higher. You can really scoop it and just push it up. And right there is an example of the kind of piles. And what that means to me, to somebody like me, I get higher piles a year like this year we've already had about 60 inches in the Chicago area 60 inches of snow starts stacking up there's nowhere to put it so if you can stack it higher then you've got more room like particular this particular lot it's a commercial lot then it's not taking over your parking lot because you're stacking it high so that's the beauty I don't need a Bobcat or anything else I just need my boss VXT Push that snow. Tell it who's your boss. Oh, oh, oh. The rivalry actually started because Matt said his friends don't call. So he actually took it out on me. And I, I mean, I don't know why, because all he said was that they can't sing at all. So now all he has is his red guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Can you 